And what better way to make that happen than to arm the good law-abiding citizens that can begin to turn the tide on an unrelenting wave of domestic terror events that infinitely spins in the controlled media wash cycle. John Bound for Infowars.com. Well, RT is reporting that the Russian Air Force has destroyed an ISIS command center as well as a training camp. Now, one of the lieutenant generals there said to take with a grain of salt these reports that the, the airstrikes are hitting residential areas, calling these sensationalized fakes prepared even before the operation started. Well, to give a little credence to that, uh, we've got this story up. Soros NGO in Syria caught faking victim images to blame Russia. Indeed, uh, people on Twitter discovered that a Soros-sponsored White Helmets, which is one of the largest NGOs operating in Syria, tried to pass off an old photo from five days earlier saying that that was a civilian that was harmed during the Russian airstrikes. And now, of course, the Pentagon is weighing whether or not they should send in some protection for their U.S. trained and backed rebels, meaning, of course, we are now escalating into a hot war with Russia. So why is Saudi Arabia so keen to destabilize Syria? Well, it could all come down to a war of pipelines. According to estimates, Syria's oil reserves are greater than all those of neighboring countries except Iraq, making Syria one of the largest producers of crude oil in the Middle East. In spite of the fact that it has now been confirmed by most media sources that the Syrian opposition is actually al-Qaeda, the Western powers are still pushing to arm the rebels in order that they can gain control of key territories along the pipeline. The U.S.-NATO strategy focuses on helping the rebels to seize oil fields to stop the supply of petroleum products and to break up Syria's role as the main crossroad for alternative energy. One of the reasons why NATO and the Gulf Cooperation Council are using al-Qaeda terrorists to break up the Shiite-led alliance of Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Hezbollah is because the construction of a so-called friendship pipeline will transport Iranian natural gas through Syria and from there to foreign markets, turning Iran into a global economic power, giving it enormous leverage over the EU's Middle East policy. This is, of course, unsettling news to the Saudis who dominate oil exportation in the European markets alongside Russia. But who is Russia allied with? That's right, Iran and Syria. Now, the key point here is that up until now, the proxy war with Syria has not yet led to a hot war with Russia. While the debate has been framed as to whether or not Assad used chemical weapons, the New World Order's true geopolitical objectives in targeting Syria have been ignored. By that time we were bombing in Afghanistan, I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. He said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense's office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWarsLife.com, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. I want more candy. I want more video games. Why, why, why? And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. At Biggs, are there atheists in foxholes? Hell no. I've been there. I wrote a whole piece in college on that, uh, from that quote. You know, I, I met a lot of atheists when I was deployed. And I'm telling you, when the bullets start flying, the rounds start coming in, the artillery's going, the RPGs are flying, you'll hear every man out there screaming and crying to God, shaking, asking for forgiveness. And then, the, you know, just completely their lives change. I saw that time and time again. I mean, there was one scenario when we were sitting on a mountaintop, and these guys are shooting these, uh, the Taliban shooting at us, these huge, like, you know, any aircraft guns towards us. And we have to sit here, and I'm, my back is against a sand berm, and I've got about four inches between me and where the bullets are flying. And I'm trying to, like, barely breathe so my chest doesn't expand out and it catch my bulletproof vest and spin me around and then hit me. So I'm sitting here, and it's nighttime, and you can see the tracers just going by. And you're sitting there like, oh, my God, I hope there is a God. I hope that something's going on. And you'll hear these guys who are always like, there's no God, there's no God, screaming and crying at the top of their lungs. Help me, God. Help me, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think there's any atheists in foxholes. This is a true tragedy that happened. I actually feel for these people like you do because they were in a victim disarmament zone. They were ignorant. Now they'll be used as a sacrifice to demonize human independence, human's right to defense. They'll be used as a burnt offering to sell the further enslavement and domestication of the people by a bunch of cold-blooded vampires. And Obama, we're going to play the clip in a moment about this Oregon shooting. He says, oh, this is so routine. Yeah, it's routine that they exploit every tragedy when statistically, I'm going to say it again, 166, 167 people a year die in mass shootings. 200 plus people die from white-tailed deer. Is he going to go out and give a speech every time white-tailed deer kill somebody? Or, or honeybees kill 300? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, the only thing that's routine is the fact, like you said, he exploits every single thing that he can use to help push his anti-gun agenda. They don't want you to be able to protect yourself. I mean, it was disgusting yesterday. We're out there at the campus of UT, and these people are sitting there screaming, giving these sob stories. And 
you know, you know, we don't need guns on campus. You know, that's going to cause more drama. You're out there because Texas is passing a law to let folks be armed on campus. Explain that to them. And then this happens while you're out there covering it. Yeah. So next year in August uh, 2016, they have, well, they've already passed it, but it'll go into effect for campus carry. So students with CHL 21 and up who go and take the class and uh, go through all the proper stuff, fingerprints and all that, they can conceal carry on campus. Now, right now, you're able to carry on public sidewalks, in the parking garages, all that. You can carry long rifles, anything like that you want. Conceal carry as well out there. Like where we were at yesterday protesting, there were people carrying guns, but they were concealed and you couldn't see them. And no one was going, you know, crazy over that because obviously you're not going to see concealed and carry. And so UT and others with Bloomberg are trying to just throw fits and stop it when it just shows their disconnect. A criminal, a crazy is going to go on there, even though Oregon was a gun-free zone. Mm -hmm. That's what the criminals, the cowards choose. Well, that's what people don't understand. Criminals don't follow laws. That is why they are criminals. So when you put these strict gun laws everywhere, all you do is you disarm people, sure. to take away their ability to protect themselves, and you empower the criminals who want to go out and do bad. Now, yesterday there was a guy, uh, an armed Air Force veteran was there. He says an Air Force veteran who had a license to conceal carry was present. Uh, at the school yesterday during the shooting. Um, he said there were a few people in the vet center and then we heard shooting happen. We got up and we were gonna head out and see what we could do. He said at that point in time, the, the faculty immediately told him to stop and held us inside the building. Essentially, they would not let us go and assist. Now, it's a gun-free zone. He illegally had the gun in there, but he could have saved some lives. Well, I, I mean, I think the guy's great, but I would have just ignored those people, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have told him to go screw off. I would have just knocked one of them out if I had to. If me punching a teacher is gonna save 10 people's lives, by all means, you're going to get knocked out. Well, you notice, I'm not bragging, but you don't see a lot of this going on in Texas. Or when they start it, when the Al-Qaeda folks show up, they just get killed. I mean, I'm not bragging here. I'm not anything special. Everybody I know, my dad, anybody else, people, somebody's killing somebody across the street. They're going to charge in. What about this vet that got shot seven times who was unarmed? Uh, you know, maybe they should have chopped his arms off so he couldn't fight back. Uh, Oregon shooting heroic veteran Chris Mintz was shot seven times trying to save people. Also in my old unit at Fort Bragg, Airborne. Uh, the guy uh, got a lot of mutual friends of mine. I found that out this morning. So, uh, yeah, this guy was shot five times, and uh, his family released a statement today. I got on his Facebook and looked, said he's okay, but he is going to have to learn how to walk again. And uh, after he was shot five times, he was laying on the ground, you know. They were saying seven. It's five. Yeah, five times, what I saw in here. But, you know, who knows? They keep misreporting stuff. Um, he was laying on the ground screaming, today's my son's birthday. Today's my son's birthday. And this guy, without a gun, ran beeline towards this gunman to try to take him out. That's the kind of people that are out there. That's the kind of guy that you want to conceal carry to have a gun. He could have taken that guy out immediately. And that's who the globalists hate and says the number one enemy of, quote, homeland security. Well, then who the hell is homeland security? I'll tell you who runs it. Foreign banks that took over this country. How dare them say that the vets are the number one enemy? It's because they're criminals and they know vets aren't cowards. That's why they hate them. Then you got this coward, Chris Harper Mercer, the guy who was the gunman. This guy hated Christianity. He told people in the school to lay down on the ground, sprawl out. And then he told them one by one to stand up and goes, are you a Christian? If they answered yes, boom, execute Just him. like Columbine. Yep, execute him right there. And if they said no, he wounded him, shot him in the leg. This is a like satanic that. spirit rising up in this country. It's out of control. Well, they're mad that we're exposing the babies being killed. They're mad we're winning. And, you know, we're going to keep on winning. Sorry. You know, yesterday, uh, Tom Jefferson, he's a big gun rights activist, was arrested and held in jail last night until about 9.35, 9.40 for holding a sign at a protest. I mean, really? And then, then the feminist professor gets out there and goes, we have video. We're, not open to, uh, we're not open to any kind of debate at all out here. We're just here to basically cram our agenda down your throat. And if you have anything to say against what we're saying and you're pro-gun, we're going to arrest you. There was a guy in the crowd walking around looking for any pro-gun signs, he found two on the- And had him arrested. And had him arrested. Throw him I mean, that's a sensational story right there. That's, that's what I grew up in the, as a kid hearing about in China or Soviet Russia. And now it's just, oh, that's what we did in America. I mean, never in a million years I think that I would see- And I like saw that. the video of those Bloomberg uh, security goons. They enjoyed violating the First Amendment, just like they liked the second to, to go down. They just enjoy it. Like they think they're on some winning team. They love their dishonor. Well, my favorite thing is what Jakari said yesterday. As the, Jakari was, I've never seen Jakari this pissed. When I Tom, mean, he, he was pissed yesterday when he came back. When those two guys were pulled away and arrested, people started screaming and clapping, all these women in the crowd. Yay. Oh, and, and, and Jakari goes, hey, don't worry. They're going to have their pension funds taken. All these fools don't get it. 
What made America great was the right to defense and speech. They're taking it all. They're going to lose everything, like pulling a plug in a ba in a bathtub. Yeah. I mean, all our everything, the wealth, the prosperity, it's all going down the toilet, you dumb witches. Sorry. And what, what, what they didn't realize is they were clapping not for him being taken away because he was pro-gun. He was getting taken away for his First Amendment rights. That means that could happen to each and every one of you that are out there clapping in the crowd. The so-called left wants to get rid of free speech. And, and it was amazing. I went and tried to open up dialogue and speak to all these people in the crowd. Not one of them that had on their gun.